estás viendo Cuidando Noticias MX. Hola, hoy daré mi primer comentario político y hablaré brevemente sobre los golpes de Estado que han habido en Latinoamérica. Pero antes quiero invitarlos a que le den like a mi video, lo comenten, se suscriban y activen la campanita tilín, tilín, para que les lleguen las notificaciones de mis nuevos videos. Ahora, les comento que Bernie Sanders, el AMLO de Estados Unidos y aspirante a la candidatura demócrata para las elecciones presidenciales en ese país, explica en un video el por qué Estados Unidos está detrás de todos los golpes de Estado en América Latina. Expone el ejemplo chileno con el derrocamiento de Salvador Allende, quien fuera presidente de ese país, el cual se suicidó el 11 de septiembre de 1973. Vamos a verlo. I'm very concerned about the media today and the degree to which a few corporations control what we see, hear, and read. But if you check American history, you know, sometimes the president will tell you, well, we are always defenders of freedom. We believe in freedom. But if you check history, what you will find is that in many years, especially in Latin America, which way back from when President Monroe developed his Monroe Doctrine, we have the right to own Latin America and we will tell any government there what we want to happen. That's the simple truth. So throughout our history, we have overthrown many, many governments. We didn't like their form of government. In the case of Chile, in 1973, what you had is an election in which a guy named Salvador Allende won the election. Problem is, Nixon and his friends didn't like him. Why? Because Salvador Allende fought for the poor people and the working people of their country. He, belong, he believed that the resources of Chile, their copper mines and so forth, should belong to the people. And he won a free election. No one denied that for a second. It was a tough election, didn't win by much, but he won a free election. There was another election. His party got more support. He was overthrown by the CIA and corporate interest, because corporate interest preferred, of course, that the United States companies dominate that country. And a lot of what politics is about going way, way back, to the 19th century, to England, France, is the domination of colonies so that big companies in a given country can take the resources of those countries for their own use. So I think that's what happened, and it was a very unfortunate day in American history. Allende won in a democratic election, was popular, was overthrown, and eventually killed. And in his place, a guy named General Pinochet took place, ran that country with an iron fist, Killed many, many people, but he was okay. He was a good guy. Why? Because he was a friend of corporate America. 